Hello everybody and welcome here to Charlottesville, Indiana, Eastern Hancock High School. We are here for tonight's uh, JV matchup between the Eastern Hancock Royals and the Daleville Broncos. I am joined tonight by Jacob Eichen. Hi Jake. Hey Mr. Gallion. So we're looking here, should be a good, good game tonight. Sorry, I'm trying to get the camera tweaked and adjusted just right. All right, starters here for the Royals. We have, is that Jake Spaulding? Edric Miller, Grant Gray, Griffin Brown, and Nick Euler. Freshman, 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 sophomore, junior. For the Broncos, we have number 40. That's Robert Wilson, number 12, Dylan Romine. Number three, Dylan Scott. Number 11, Louis Ito. And number 42, Wesley Livingston. Get ready here. Let us know in the comments if we, how we sound, uh, how everything looks, if there's any issues. As we're set to get underway here. Euler and Wilson will tip. Anytime now. <laughs> Euler gets the tip back to Gray. Looks like they're coming out in the yeah. trap. A little one two two trap. Yep. Westdale, this did not work for Westdale, so we'll see how it works for Daleville. Grant Gray, corner three, no good. Good hustle there. Jake Spaulding rebounds it, tries to save it, and it's going to be Bronco ball. Good hustle by Jake. Knocked out of bounds by Jake. Stay with the Broncos. The Royals manned up here. Livingston for three over Euler, no good. Rebound Miller. Good ball movement. Oh, good look, but bad passing yeah. from Gray into Euler. Little miscommunication. I don't know if Euler went too far down in the block or oh. just a bad pass. We're gonna get a foul on Edric Miller there. He's gotta stay a little, a little more disciplined there. And he got off of his feet and bit on that pump fake. D there by Griffin Brown. Three-pointer there from Dylan Scott. I think offensively, if we get if we get some reversals and look inside to Nick Euler, I think we can get some good uh, high post touches there. Another shot, no good. Good travel. Good yep. travel. Good call. Griffin thought he got a foul. <laughs> he looked over like, uh-oh. So 3 nothing, two minutes here into the first quarter. Kind of dropped down a little bit in their 1-2-2. Two, two. Oh, just a second longer. We would have had Edric in the high post. Yep. 
Griffin Brown, corner three. Oh, in and out. Rebounded by Robert Wilson. Roman drives, kicks to the corner. Wilson, nothing doing. Back up top, Roman, deep three. In and out. Euler with the good block yeah. out, and he got Wes Livingston to go over his back. That was a nice job by Nick. That was a good box out. There you got it into Euler. Yep. Gray long good two hit. is good. Roman drives past Miller. Euler slides over to stop him, and Roman steps out of bounds. Now Grant has pretty good touch for a for a big kid. Yes, he does. He's a good shooter. Edrick, nothing into Nick. Nice Dexter pass to Griffin there Brown. And and one. One. We got an instant replay of that. Oh, yeah. Nick knew where he was going. That was a nice play. Call that the deep dish down there. <laughs> Watch that one more time here on replay. Nice job. As Griffin Brown will shoot the and one, no. Rebounded by Ito. And then Daleville throws it away going too far there. Four to three Royals. Halfway through the first quarter. Spalding for three from the wing, no. Grant, Grant the five. five, nope. I talked with Coach Knight about it last game. I can't wait to see Grant after a year or two here in the weight room. Yeah, I think he could be really good on the board. Because look, I mean, he's got a great frame. He doesn't have bad touch down he's inside got, as well. He's got good touch. He's got great feet. I just can't wait to see that, like I said, that year in the weight room yeah. to see what he can really do inside. Shot by Romine, in and out, rebounded by Gray. Jake Spalding will bring it up the court. Gray up top, back to Edric Miller. Inside to, oh, and Nick just should have just turned around yeah, and shot that. Yep. Still four to three, two and a half minutes left here in the first quarter. Royals lead by a point. Mm. Flexion there by Gray, and then it goes off of Livingston's foot. And it's going to be a royal ball. He let it go all the way out of bounds over there, so it's going to be our ball Under underneath the basket. the basket. Yeah, that's nice. Isaac Lewis checks in for Euler. A little height difference between yeah. Isaac and Nick. Grant gets it into Jake. Edric drives, gets fouled on the way to the basket there. Little hand check there by is that Farrell. Farrell. Keaton Farrell. He checked in. I didn't see him check in. So Grant inbounds, gets it to Spalding. Spalding puts it up all the way around and no right good. Out. Uh, 
Romine attacks the basket. Puts Misses. it up, no. They've had a lot of good looks. They just haven't really, yeah. other than that one three, haven't got anything to fall. Not that we're setting the world on fire scoring, no. but uh, Jake should have shot that. Moving screen by Griffin, I'm guessing. Let's see. See if we can see this moving screen. Yeah, that's kind of weak, but they called it. Yeah. I mean, he gave him a little bit of a shoulder, but I don't think it – it's one of those that didn't impact the play. Yeah, it's kind of like a holding 30 yards away from the play yeah. in football. You don't need to call that as – Livingston buries a three. One minute to play here. First quarter. Oh, good Spalding, pass. great pass into Gray. No good, but Griffin, strong Griffin board, missed. They call it, is he shooting on it? Yep, they're going to call a shooting foul. So Griffin will shoot a pair. <clears throat> that foul was on, I don't know who that foul was on. On the scoreboard it says 45, but there is yeah. no 45. I thought he said, oh, okay, Dylan Scott. Okay. Oh, that was still up there from Griffin. That's yeah. what it was, 45. So number three, Scott. And then 40, Robert Wilson just checked back in. Griffin hits both. And it's tie game. It's six, six all. Eastern with little token pressure. Ito drives over to Roman. Drives, short shot, no good. White Sutton came into the game for the Royals. I didn't see White check in. Edric Miller, three from the wing, no. Griffin Brown fights yeah, for it and deflects it there. off of a Bronco. 5.6 seconds left here in the first quarter. Wyatt will inbound it. Gets it to Jake Spalding in the corner. Spalding. Back to Edric, three, oh, in and out. Middle right out. And it's been a lid on both sides of the basket. Yeah. Neither team's really been able to hit anything. Both, I mean, they both teams have gotten fairly good looks. Two threes for the Broncos, and they've had a couple little ten-footers that have been good looks, haven't yeah. fallen. And the Royals, uh, Griffin's got four of our six on a, you know, both the times he got fouled. Yeah. Actually, free throws on one, and... He had that layup. one inside, yeah. That layup. little layup where he got the end one and, and missed the free throw. But, yeah, not a lot of scoring going on so far. So, we'll see if that picks up. I count several of these guys on their varsity roster as well. Um, they got a lot of guys on their JV roster. Yeah, they do. I mean, they have 14 on their JV roster. I don't know if, uh, you know, some of these guys are kind of like the Spaldings where they maybe just play a quarter yeah. or two. Because um, their varsity does not have that many. Now, Jake Spaulding, he's he's done for the game, isn't he? For the JV game, yeah. Yep. Jake, Jake plays uh, one quarter and Silas will play a quarter. And then they'll usually stay in uniform in case somebody fouls out mm -hmm. and they have to go in. Um, you know, in the fourth or something like that. But uh, that hasn't happened yet this year where they had to go play. So the Royals have Edric Miller, Wyatt Sutton, Isaac Lewis, Griffin Brown, and Silas Spalding. The Broncos have Keaton Farrell. I can't see everybody's – Dylan Romine, Lewis Ito, Robert Wilson, and Dylan Scott.
Farrell flips something up. Griffin Brown gets the rebound over to Lewis. Over to Edric Miller. Drives and kicks back out to Lewis. Up top to Sutton. Silas Spalding will shoot the deep three. Right he hits it. There we go. Roman drives, kicks to Scott. His three no good, rebounded by Sutton. Spalding ends up throwing it away. Farrell from three. There it. Here the scoring picks up a little bit here in the second yeah. quarter. As did our viewer count. We're up to 15 viewers. <laughs> so he said, you know, this defense wasn't real effective when Westdale did it, but um, – the difference being here, Westdale stayed up and kept trapping in that uh, as soon as we came across yeah. half court, and Daleville's dropped back and is, is not doing that. They've got, Daleville's done a pretty good job. Uh, They've kept it out of the lane? Yeah, they have. Scott, it looks like it's fouled by Silas Spalding. Mueller's nope. checking back in to get Griffin. Called that on uh, Isaac Lewis. We won all the fouls to go on the Spaldings with them only playing a quarter yeah. each. <laughs> Let them foul out. It's okay. <laughs> Last year, Cole Rainbow was doing the same thing. Cole and Landon each played a quarter. Yeah. Deep three there by Scott. That was really Gilbert. deep. And Cole had four fouls in one quarter. <laughs> hey, you got to use them while you can, I, I guess. Twelve to nine, three-point lead here for the Broncos. Silas over to Isaac Lewis. Lewis drives, puts Floats up the floater, up. and nice, nice hit. Nice Isaac job by Lewis. Isaac. Good job, Euler, kind of blocking out there. Kept the defense away from him and gave Isaac a clean lane. Farrell wants another one. And Scott's been the one hitting them. I think, did Farrell hit one? He hit, he hit okay. one of them. Scott hit the really deep one. Yeah, though. he did. Inside the Euler. Way, puts to keep it up it up, the, way to keep it up high so those defenders couldn't get it. And the Royals back up by a point, 13 to 12. Scott again. Dang, Scott is feeling it. Coach Bechtel may have something to say on the next yeah. time out. He doesn't look too pleased. No. Yeah, they're doing, they're doing a good job of when we pass it to the corner, covering our guy dropping down to the low block. Well, and that's so, you know, really the we have a, a lot of guys that can hit shots, mm -hmm. but outside of, outside of Silas Spalding right now, we don't have a lot of what I would call pure shooters. Yeah. And they're kind of daring our guys to take those shots, and they're not giving up um, that drop-down pass to the low block. Yeah. Coach Bechtel, Bechtel took a timeout there. He talked to them about either how we want to kind of change this up offensively or maybe to, you know, put a hand up on um, Scott. And yeah. Has he hit three threes? He's hit three threes, and two of them have been deep, too. Yeah. I think Delville's hit all threes. Livingston had a three, I think, the first three. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I don't think they've hit a two yet. They've hit five threes. So three minutes and 13 seconds left here in the second quarter. JV game. Sorry, that was the Broncos, I guess, that called a timeout. I didn't see that. Edric Miller with the ball over to Lewis. 
Oh, and he throws it away. Throws it over, yep. Got to get better passing angles. Into the game, was that 21? Zion Bricker comes into the game for number 12, Dylan Romine. I may just call him Zion Williamson. <laughs> If he could dunk like Zion Williamson, that would be awesome. That'd be very too. cool. It would spruce up a JV game right there. <laughs> yeah. So Fleming with the ball up top. Scott being hounded by Silas Spalding here. Yeah, I think. I think Bechtel got into him to say, hey, get up and guard. Yes. Where Fleming tries to drive. Miller cuts him off nicely. Back up top to Scott. Scott can't get around Silas. And here's Ito, drives uh -huh. around Gray, gets the corner, that but... Pass. Ito should have just gone up with that. Yeah. Edric Miller is going to go all Left the way hand, coast nice. to coast. Lefty. And ties it back up at 15. I feel like that's where Ed's really strong, getting out in fast breaks and then even just like slashing to the basket. Yeah. He's got such good vision. Yeah, he does. Poked away there. I couldn't tell if that was Gray or Miller, but Miller comes away with it. It's Spalding to Lewis. Back to Gray, corner three. And Hits one. Hits it and one. And Grant Gray will have a shot at a four-point play. That was on West Livingston. And then we're going to see Wilson and Romine come right back in. Mm -hmm. So Grant Gray hit the three. Put the Royals up by three, and now he'll have a shot to finish the four-point play. Ah. Scott oh. over Spalding. Dang. Buries another one. He was he a good five feet behind he, the three-point line. He must have had his Wheaties this morning. Looks like they're in a zone, a 2-2 zone with uh, Ito face guarding kind of Silas. That's what, like a box one? Yeah. Gray throws it away trying to get it to Miller. Kind of what we've, uh, we've seen some teams do that to our varsity against Landon. Really? Gray tries to get it back. Good hustle, Good hustle. Grant. Gets it to Silas. Silas is going to go up with take. it. Oh. oh. Romine weaving his way in and out. Sorry, we just dropped the uh, stream there for a second. I don't know what happened. We got it back up now. So that's why we always suggest if you can watch on YouTube because if it happens, it'll come right back. On Facebook, it creates a whole new post each time. So we always suggest to go on YouTube when possible. Didn't get the shot up. Yeah, I don't think that's how he drew it up. Coach Bechtel not happy about that no. either. So that'll be the end of the first half, all tied at 18. Like we said, if you're um, – you can watch us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And as I was just saying, I always suggest when you can to watch on the YouTube, EH Athletics YouTube page because uh, – when what happens is we lose signal, and it always happens when it's, uh, you know, we get a bad bad service or something like that. So uh, it'll come right back if you're on YouTube. So we will come back after halftime and what should be a really good second half coming up.
All right, folks, we're back here for the second half of the JV game between the Eastern Hancock Royals and the Daleville Broncos. It's all knotted up at 18. Working it inside Nick. Oh, a little in and out game. Throw mine for three. Good block out by Euler. Edric Miller for three, and he gets it. So Royals back up by three. Royals have Euler, Gray, Brown, Lewis, and Miller. Broncos have Fleming, Ito, Romine, uh, is it Wilson and Livingston? Yep. Isaac gets it over to Grant. Get a good look inside. Griffin. No good. Oh, nice. Way to stay with it from Nick Good job Euler. by Euler, but no good. Looked like he was looking for a foul there, but I think he's... They didn't call it because he's kind of fading away. Now, notice Dylan Scott's not out here, so I don't know if they're saving him oh, for, that could uh, be. Um, for varsity's, yeah, he some was, varsity minutes. He was hitting them. Oh, a little push off, a little bit of acting there by Isaac, too. That didn't hurt. Let's so watch Isaac with his huh. drawing the charge. <laughs> Good job, Isaac. That's Fleming's first, second. Edric Miller inside to Euler, back out to Eddie for three. It's going to be short. Oh, Grant comes Grant behind and pokes, pokes it. it away from Ito, and then Grant says, "I'll finish the steal by myself here." Uh -huh. Isaac Lewis, corner to Brown, back up top to Lewis. Back far corner to Brown. Grant Gray pulls. No Misses. good. Ito with the rebound. No. Oh. Bounces around and out, and then a little bit of frustration there by Robert Wilson as he's going to foul Griffin Brown. What does it mean when you, you text somebody and they reply with, it just says word? What does that mean? Maybe it's like a, like an okay or kind of like a, maybe like an okay. Okay. I, I had someone, I, I texted them, and they just replied back, word. <laughs> yeah, I... I'd rather just have a simple okay, probably, than a than the controversial word. I would expect that from a you know someone in their teens, not yeah. not somebody in their sixties. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep up with the times. I guess. Sounds like a Coach O'Hara <laughs> thing. Delville coaches thought that was off of yeah. us. And the ref is explaining that it was not. Wyatt Sutton just checked in for us. Didn't catch that. Who did he get? Oh, Edric. No, Edric's thought. He got Grant. 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 Oh, 
Oh, if we look. Oh, if we if we can get a skip over quicker, then I think we can have something. I like. Here's what I'd like to see. If Edric drops down and screens, and then we can get a clear skip oh, with, yes. with Edric setting that screen on the cross court, yeah. we could have that. If I had a little thing like John Madden, I could draw. Um, I could draw yeah, what I was trying to demonstrate on the, there on the TV. So Wyatt Sutton to inbound. Drop down the Broncos Looks are now like to 2-3. Yeah. Yep. Edric kicks to Wyatt. Wyatt for three. We're good. Short. There's some Daleville fans that are just clapping nonstop. I know. I've noticed that too. I even saw their, some of their bench players were doing it nonstop. I was like, maybe it's a coach philosophy, I guess. I don't know. That's the first two of the game. Ito just hit it. <laughs> two and a half minutes left in the third quarter. They just hit their first two of the game. <laughs> yeah, if you hear the clapping, there's some fans <laughs> over there that just, I mean. It, they must be really proud. They've just been clapping. I don't. You're right. I don't know if that's <laughs> a coaching, you know, like a philosophy yeah. thing or, or what. I didn't notice the guys on the bench doing it. Maybe like so they keep energy. I don't know. Might be. Yeah, they are inside really the swarming. They are really swarming inside. They don't want anything down there. No, they don't. Oh, oh Isaac. Nice pass to Farrell. That was a good pass. And the Broncos retake the lead. Yep. Reach by Ito. Grant Gray checks back in. As does Zion Bricker for the Daleville Broncos. Wyatt, Wyatt dead on for three, got yep. it. I like the energy that Wyatt brings. Yeah, he does. And he can add a – he's a pretty – he is a decent – he is a decent shooter. Yeah, he can shoot well, but he's always going hard. Mm -hmm. I like his energy. The Royals back up by two. Broncos just under a minute to play here, moving the ball. Three on the way from, who was that, Romine? No, and we got a foul on Livingston. So 47 seconds left here. Lewis brings it up court. There's that skip pass we've been waiting for. Ed Miller makes it good. Cashes it in. That's been there all night. It's the first time we hit it. Oh. 
Ten seconds to play here. Bechtel wants him to push it up. Lewis back kicks. out. Miller for three again. Another one? Nope. Nope. No good. Let him go, Wyatt. Don't foul. There we go. And the Royals with a nice little burst there right at the end from uh, Sutton and uh, Miller hitting those threes. Take, the, take it to a five-point lead here at the end of the third quarter. We want to make sure and thank our sponsors. Um, they, you see them scrolling up in the top left corner of the screen, but here's all of them all in one place. County Line Millie, Ellsbury Optometry, Early Wine Mortuary, Inns Keep Ford, Joiner Homes, Mozzie's Pizza, McCleary's Scor Sporting Goods, Knightstown Meat Locker, Knightstown Elevator, the Kemper CPA Group, Meggie Heating, Plumbing, and Electric, Neighborhoods Against Substance Abuse, Nine Star Connect, Remax, the Star Team, Reynolds Farm Equipment, Werner Orthodontics, Summers Pl Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling, Sprinkle CPA, Signorama, Rotabeck Mechanical Construction, Riley Park Tire, Winners Financial Group, Greenfield Banking Company, Star Bank, Paxton Farm Sweet Corn, and the Hancock County Substance Abuse Task Force. Speaking of Paxton Farms, who do you think uh, for the varsity could potentially bring home the player of the game? For the varsity? Well, we got to see the game first. That's true. That is true. I, there's really – there's about seven guys on any given they night do that have, can do they it. They do have quite a bit of – quite a bit of firepower. It's a lot like uh, – it's a lot like in football. Football this year, I think we only had one duplicate oh, uh, across, ten, year? across ten games, yeah. Or uh, maybe nine games. I think there were two that we couldn't do this year. Uh, yeah, we only had one one duplicate. And it's just you have so many different guys that, can, that impact the game. Yeah. Romine gets a good elevator screen. Shot's no good, but rebounded by Wilson. And the thing with the Paxton Farms player of the game, it's not about scoring because oh. actually the player of the year last year was Brady Stevens, who only averaged about six a game. But, you know, he was the most impactful. Yeah. Brady did a lot for the Royals last year. He rebounded, and he defended pretty well, too. Banked in three from Farrell. It's one of those Landon's got several this year, and mm -hmm. it's been mostly because uh, Landon steps up when we need somebody to step up. Yeah. You know, he makes those those senior caliber plays as a sophomore, and that's what, you know, he does well, more so than just shooting the yeah. ball. Another shot there, and it's tied up as four quick points from the Broncos. Oh, just a hair late, but still gets it into Brown. Good defensive play there by Robert Wilson. Yeah, he's but, stripping clean. Look but like. Eddie manages to hang on to it. Miller corner three, yeah, boom. That's a good. That's a good play for the Royals. But if you're Daleville, you can't have Romine out there cheating out like that and gambling on the ball. No. The take, nothing there though. Is Euler and Gray, their long arms deter the pass. Edric gets it knocked away, and Fleming's going to come up with it, or Farrell. Sorry, Fleming's in the varsity game. Romine, three, no. Rebound, Euler. Under five to play now. Mueller into Brown. Goes up over the left yeah, shoulder, up and in. Five-point lead for the Royals. I don't know if you're Daleville, if, you want, if you're if you going to want uh, Bricker guarding Griffin down there. He just I don't think so. You're right. He's just not going to yeah. be strong enough. And that's – so teams, I think, uh, when they look at us from a height standpoint, if they go, oh, crap, they've got Euler who's 6'5", Gray who's probably 6'2", and then Brown who's – about six foot, six yeah. one. But actually the best one with his back to the basket is Griffin yeah. um, of the three. Now all are capable in the post, but I think a lot of teams put their their big post guy on, on Nick 
and that has freed up Griffin. We saw in a couple other games, I believe Westdale and Northeastern both, we really uh, fed it to Griffin inside. Yeah, I feel like he's more of the back-to-the-basket type, and then Nick's kind of like he's more of your mid-range. He's going to hit a jump shot for yeah. you or just lay it in up top. Yeah, Nick's about 8 feet to, to 15 feet. Nick is really good in that range. Yeah. I really like this JV team. Like, as a group of guys, they play hard. Yeah, yeah they, they do. They're fun to watch. And they play well with each other. So Farrell, Ito, Bricker, Wilson, and Livingston for the Broncos. Lewis, Miller, Gray, Euler, and Brown for the Royals. Wilson over Euler, but no good. Straight line drive there for the shot. Farrell, deep three, no. Oh, Good save and it's going to wind up as a jump there. Nice save by Wilson. This will be Eastern Hancock ball. For 12, Romine back in. Delville looks to have a couple good freshmen here. Dylan Scott, the one that yeah. was lighting us up in the first half. He's only a freshman. Romine's a freshman. Yeah, they do uh, have some strong... Strong, it looks like strong guard play for the future. Yeah. And we got a freshman that only plays, well, Carson Buck is listed on the varsity and their JV, but we haven't seen him on the no. JV. I believe he was warming up if I recognize the jersey numbers. He's some decent so. size for a freshman, 6'1". They look to have a good future because, I mean, yeah. even the – there's a lot of sophomores on their varsity. Yeah, they only as well. have one senior, it looks like. And two juniors. Yeah. Inside to Euler. Oh. Gets it knocked away. Good play by Romine. Yeah. Looking to push in transition. Nice dump down. Yeah, by the Livingston. That was a really good pass. Five point lead for Eastern Hancock. Two minutes and 40 seconds left here. Gray drives, puts nice. it up. Nice take nice by, Grant. by Grant. Especially going to the left there. Three by Farrell. Man. They have shot pretty well tonight. Yeah, they have. Good take, take by, by Miller and, and one. one. Very good body control on the take. There's the instant replay. I know it says halftime, but it's not. <laughs> Promise it's instant replay. It's a nice ball screen from Euler. And kind of double pumps it a little bit and gets it up. Yeah, Livingston just came down with the arm. He really was in pretty good position except mm -hmm. for just that, that little bit of a down swipe there. Ball's deflected by Gray. Good save. Oh, he tried saving it and saved it right to Wilson. Wilson missed, and then Gray got the rebound. Seven-point lead, a minute 40 to go here. Looks like that same type of action. Gray takes. Now, he gets good penetration, but if he looks kind of left, he has Griffin in the corner open for a kick. Or I think he had he could have gone up with the left hand yeah. instead of trying to come back in because the time before he went up with I don't know if he went up with the left but he kept going to his left. Yeah. 
and banked one in. And there I couldn't, he may not have, it may have been a right-handed shot, but there he tried going back to the right and ended up forcing something. Mm -hmm. And I have a timeout by the Broncos here with a minute 19 to go. We've got to remember Grant's only a freshman. Yeah. And again, that's where I talk about that strength. I think if he gets stronger, he goes up through that contact yeah. with the left. Whereas right now, he's, he's not as strong. He's probably not as confident with his left. But he, could, he handles it well with his left. So you just go on in there and just go through the guy's chin, get the foul. Yeah, and for like a big, you don't really expect bigs to have like good ball handling, but he has pretty good ball handling he for does. his size. And really, you don't need him to bring it up the court or yeah. anything, but he's really good just attacking the basket. Um, he's not out of control. So yeah, he's good to be able to spot up and then but drive after that. Yeah, pump and drive around him. A lot of guys can do that, but they're out of control. Yeah. Or they put their head down and they lose what's going on around them. You know, he's he's able to see that. But you're right. If he would kick across from that corner to Griffin, he'd have him for a wide open three. So it'll be Daleville ball here. Farrell gets it into Romine. Minute, uh, minute 17 to go here. Romine back to Farrell. Good D there by Isaac Lewis. Yes. Romine for three, no, Euler gets the rebound. Under a minute to go here. Broncos aren't looking to foul or anything. No. Kind of interesting. It Only is, a yeah. seven-point game. <laughs> also interesting, we have no fouls in the second half. That is, that is, a, that is a rare stat you usually don't see very often. And they just decided to foul. With 35 seconds remaining here. Interesting timing. Next one, the Royals will be shooting one and one. Now, now they foul. And I think their coach is acting like he wanted them to foul earlier, but yeah. um, I didn't really hear him yelling or no. anything. So I don't know what what that was about. But they waited at least thirty seconds to start fouling. So one and one for Edric Miller. Rolls it in. Eight point lead. Wyatt Sutton's gonna come in defense, replacing Euler. Miller misses the second, but Wyatt gets the rebound. Great hustle there by Wyatt, and he gets fouled. Now Wyatt will shoot one and one. I don't know if I've ever seen ten fouls on one team and zero on another, <laughs> but we're going to get close here if yeah. they keep trying to foul us because it's 8-0 right now. I wonder how that makes uh, the Dale Field coach feel. Probably not happy. Yeah. Wyatt misses the front end. Run line up to Ito. Ito traveled. Twenty-four seconds left here. Danny Salamanca coming in for the Royals. Salafranca. It looks like they're going to let it play out now. Miller to Danny, and Danny gets shoved. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Dale was coach. You could tell he didn't want him to foul. No. 
I don't think that message made it to uh, all the players, though. I think he, he probably just told the guards, expecting our guys to bring it across yeah. half court and stand. Danny misses. Rebound Wilson. And 10 seconds left. Romine goes coast to coast, puts it up. And it's going to be a 40 to 34 victory here for the Royals. As the JV wins another one. And you know, the interesting thing to me is, you know, the, the Spalding boys both play a quarter, so that you have them for a half, basically. And we had 18 at halftime. We outscored, we scored more in the second half than we did in the first. That, that is interesting. And I feel like there's not really a loss of chemistry between when they're on and when they're off. No, there's not. No, they do a they do a good job whether they're on the court or yeah. whether Edric's up there and Isaac and they're running the show. Uh, but yeah, they that's that's a good team win for the Royals tonight. So we will uh, end this broadcast. We'll be back uh, about five minutes before the start of the varsity contest. So we will see you then. <laughs>